Now let's look at composite figures where we've got a hole in the middle. Okay, so we've got a cylinder and in the middle of it, stuck, cut out of the center of it, is this prism. So, instead of adding the two quantities together like we did up here for the composite figures, we're going to do what? We're going to subtract because we're taking the volume of the cylinder and we're cutting out the volume of that rectangular, or I'm sorry, that's actually a square, a square prism. So let's first find the volume of the cylinder. Volume of the cylinder is pi r squared base area times height. So our radius is easy. It's given as 3, so that's going to be 9 pi times 5 or 45 pi. Okay, now I need to find the volume of the square prism. I'm not given a side of the square. I'm given this little measurement, and that surely is not the side. So let's look at this from looking straight down. I'm changing this to a bird's eye view. So this is now 3, okay, which means this is 3. Okay, what do we know about a square? These are right angles, and when we draw this in, it's going to become a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So that means this side is the hypotenuse of the 45, 45, 90. So it's 3 root, remember the rule, 3 root 2. You multiply the leg by root 2. So that's now the side. So let's see. The volume of our square prism is going to be base area, which is side squared, times the height. And then my side is 3 root 2 squared times the height. Well, the height is still 5. And so 3 squared is 9, and square root of 2 squared is just 2, so that's going to give me 18 times 5. What's 18 times 5? Gives me 90. So that's going to be 90. So the volume of that square prism is 90. Now, what do I do with these two since one's cut out? Instead of adding this time, I am going to subtract them. So it's going to be 45 pi minus 90. Now, you may think, oh, 45 is smaller than 90. How could you subtract this? But watch, 45 times 3.14. It is not less than 90. It's 141.3 minus 90, 51.3. If you were asked for the decimal, if you're not asked for, if you're asked for exact, you stop right here and just throw your units in there as centimeters cubed. If you're asked for an estimate or a decimal, you would round it off to this point. So there you go. There's one of those where you're subtracting composites.